Whew, it is another beautiful day in paradise and in quarantine, but we're starting the day off right. We've got some apple cider vinegar cocktail here. It's not very tasty, but it's very healthy. It doesn't break fast, not that I'm really doing intermittent fasting at this moment. Probably pretty close to like eight hour windows of eating anyway. So what's in here? Oh, the smell. Ooh, the smell of it even is starting to get to me. It's apple cider vinegar, probably like a little more than a shot's worth with a lemon wedge, some cinnamon. Today I added a little salt. I've actually never done that before. I just figured I'd give it a shot. And then just some water to dilute it. Taking apple cider vinegar just by itself is incredibly acidic and I've heard that it's not very good for your esophagus. So diluting it with some water helps a lot. But this is really good to kick off your digestive system especially in the morning when you haven't eaten anything yet. I will say though, I used to just have apple cider vinegar. Adding the lemon was a tip from one of my friends and old colleagues, Mitch. He advised to add cinnamon and add lemon, and I tried it and he was right. You wouldn't think that adding more a more acidic thing to an already very acidic thing would make it better, but it made it so much better. Anyway, health is well. Here we go. Oh, okay. Very sour. I can definitely taste the salt in it. I think the salt helps a little bit. Not so bad. Definitely recommend giving it a shot. If you give it a shot, leave in the comments below what you thought. The very first time I had apple cider vinegar, I felt super weird. My stomach felt kind of weird. That's normal. You should do it anyway. You know what? That actually wasn't so bad. Also, something to note is our spice cabinet is growing a little bit. What spices do we have? Well, uh, let's see. We have garlic powder and we have Cinnamon. <laughs> We've expanded quite a bit. Also, I'm sure you've noticed, but from the face incident, oh, shit. I still have this mark right here. It doesn't hurt. I think it's just a scar. Flora's dad actually gave this to me. It's actually aloe. He recommended that I rub some aloe on my scar and it helps it go away. Giving that a shot today, day one. Okay, good to go. Thank you once again for the tip. Flora, you've inspired Helsin to do cupping. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's go. So, you've never, you've never done cupping before? First time. Wow. Are you a certified cupping person? No. Okay, well, let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> this is what comes in the cupping kit. Now that you're here and you've agreed to do this, you've signed the waiver and should let you know of the side effects. Could result in nausea, heartburn, Indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. So, cool. Ready? Do it. Go. That was like not a bad dog. <laughs> it's like a pinch. Right, exactly. But it's like it comes on slowly. Oh, those last ones hurt. Okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. I think I'm too thin for this. It hurts the first time. It's okay, you can do it. Oh, deep breath. You just gotta embrace the pain. Alright, good. Yep. How was it? How'd it go? I actually like Oh, a little nap in there or something. The first time I ever did cupping, I actually had diarrhea for like two days. Wow. Yeah, and so did Flora. The first time she did it, we did it at the same time. And it wasn't because of something that we ate. If it happens, you know what it is.